top 10 blur songs. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a really big fan of uh, Britpop. I actually really like bands like Oasis and Pulp, Suede. Um, Ela was another band, I believe, but I'm not sure. I believe they created the Britpop movement that kind of had only one record, which was like 20, uh, 28 minutes or something, like 30 minutes. But um, yeah, I do like the band. Uh, Damon Almer is in the band, who is, of course, the creator of the band and of Gorillaz, if you didn't know that. Uh, which I like as well. Um, I believe they come up with a new record, like this year or something. And it sounds way better than Humans, though. I don't like Humans. Uh, but I think Blur is the better band, if you want to go there. You know, I, I still do really like Gorillaz, but I think... You know, Blur doesn't have rap, and Gorillaz has, so that's kind of the downfall, I think. Uh, still, still a good band, still one of my favorite alt-rock alt bands, but... I do prefer Blur. Yeah, it's kind of ironic that Song 2 is their biggest hit since it was kind of a mockery to grunge and uh, you know Britpop was the answer to grunge I guess, although grunge was way bigger. Yeah, uh, Girls and Boys is great. Kind of really psychedelic. I mean, when you go to Park Life and songs like that, and music features like that especially, it's so outdated, but, uh, but I love it. Oh, this sounds really heavy. Yeah, fuck no. By the way, um, let me know if you want me to do some blur because I'm a big fan of the band. I do love me some blur. And Damon Alvarez, of course. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is one of their newer songs, which is not on an album, but it's kind of a single. I believe Magic Whip is their newest record, which came out in 2012, I believe. Gotta love England, man. <laughs> Fuck no. Love England, man. But if you want to argue, England probably has the greatest bands ever. And the most of them. Such a funny song. Number eight, Park Life. Confidence is a preference, the habitual foyer of what is known as. In terms of anthems, this is certainly one of Blur's finest. I mean, they probably are the greatest Ripple band, really. As English actor Phil Daniel speaks the comedic Cockney verses. I'll get out when I want, except on Wednesdays when I get rudely awakened by the dustman. Daniels was drafted into the record after Albarn had attempted to assume the all out London character. Didn't feel as <coughs> Sorry, Oasis, but I think Blur is better. 
They kind of have the better discography though. I think Oasis has the biggest uh, peak with Morning Glory, but I think that blurs the more consistent bands because they kind of went downhill after that record Morning Glory, but Blur got, never really made a bad record. Now, their last two releases are kind of eh, Think Tank and Magic Whip, but within the 90s they were a really great band. Yeah, it is though. Because their self title one was released the year after again. I mean, Park Life, Great Escape, um, or. Or I'm actually saying it wrong, I believe. Uh, you, have the you have another record after that, I believe. But I don't know anymore. The record is ridiculously catchy and also quite heavy on the pop culture references. I can't look it up. The high pitched choruses and the non and make it a great live record, whilst the lyrical originality brings the tune to a whole other level. It's no wonder it peaked at number five on the UK singles chart. The Great Escape and um... oh no, no, no the Ned Blur, the salt title one. Number six, girls and boys. This is a music video, man. Kind kind of looks like uh, that one uh, one Rush uh, video where they're like going over the place. You know when uh, when the Britpop movement was really big, Oasis actually called him out for this and said, uh, or Liam actually said that, um, you know, what's the song all about? Girls and boys and girls. You know, he was saying, um, re repeating what they are saying. You know, that's not a fucking song. That's like, uh, yeah, he was kind of bashing it though, but I think the song is great. But he was kind of saying, you know, that saying the same shit over and over again is not really a song. He was not a fan of the. He's not a fan of Blur. No <laughs> is Yeah, sure. I really, really like the psychedelic kind of uh, tone that the song has. I, I think it's really great. Uh, Beetlebum. I love the riff in this song, man. Incredible. Number five. It's so simplistic, but it's so raw and addictive to listen to. I think their self title one is the is their best one really. It's kind of like their first alternative rock record. Because before that they were Ripple. And they didn't, you know, release like a disappointing less Britpop record like always, but they kind of strived away from the sound at the height of the Britpop movement and kind of did their own thing, which I think is the perfect uh, move they did, really. The perfect move for that. And because I believe self titled is not credited as Britpop. Yeah, 
at uh, it's indie rock, lo-fi, alternative rock. Yeah, so it's not uh, Britpop anymore. Uh, Call VMTV. Number four, coffee and TV. I have no idea who thought of the uh, the milk carton thing, but <laughs> it's pretty dumb. This, um, you know, 90s blur is pretty good, I would say. I, I only think that Think Tank and Magic Whip aren't the best. But besides that, they're a great band. Kind of flawless in a way, really. And the leash here is not the best. It's kind of the weakest record. Blur's a weird ass band, but I do love them. Uh, number three. Also from 13. Yeah, and 13 is uh, alt rock, experimental rock, noise rock, and loaf. Yeah, so they. Pretty much uh, strides away from the Britpop sound. So only their um, first four records of Britpop, I think. Or not even that. Tender contains some of oh, the most greatest moments, such as guitars matched with a gospel choir and all bars. Because I believe leisure is not really brittle though. Yeah, I'll turn it rock. Yeah, Modern Life is the first brittle record. So you have Modern Life, Park Life and The Great Escape. So they have three brittle records. You know, same as the ways they also have four, uh, three. And the Master Plan compilation. Uh, song two. Yeah, I knew this song like when I was 10 or something. So I knew them for a while but never scoped them out. But I do want to check them out though, they're a great band. I mean the bass on this track is incredible man. So fucking heavy. Especially for an alt rock band, it's pretty heavy. There's no other way from uh, from leisure. Damon Albarn in 91, oh my god. <laughs> fucking nightmare fuel. Country house from the from the Great Escape. There's a great from Blur. Stereotypes from the get the Great Escape. Fool's Day, Fool's Day single, 2010. This is like the weirdest music video ever, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. 
This is like Nightmare Fuel Part 2 right there, but the entire band. I still have to kind of check the song out, but it's so creepy. <laughs> I want to agree with you there, but I still have to listen to it more. It is pretty creative though. Damon holding the band back. <laughs> Blur is such a weird ass band, but um, I. I, I do love the band, uh, let me know if you want me to do some Blur, because I do quite dig them. Um, yeah, definitely their nice release, like their first six are the best, except for Leisure, which is kind of their worst. Um, but it's not like, you know, definitely maybe where they kind of peak too soon and then they kind of go downhill. Um, you know, Blur actually had their weakest release as the debut and kind of went up with every release, which is, you know, the way to go. So that's it's kind of, you know, why they're the better Britpool band in my opinion, but there we go. Um, yeah, let me know if you agree with this list. Uh, let me know if you are a Blur fan, let me know if you uh, want me to do some records by them, because I do like the band. Um, yeah, I, hope, I hope you've enjoyed this video. God bless, safe, take care, uh, peace. Subscribe to the channel, like the video for more videos like this one. Hope you've enjoyed it and yeah, all those things and peace.